Hello everybody, it is Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export a high quality MP3 file directly out of Ableton Live 10. This is very easy in version 10 of the software as we have a native inbuilt feature for exporting MP3s. In previous versions of Ableton Live, we were not able to do this. We needed to export a WAV file and then convert it with a third party piece of software. But when you have a mix or anything that you want to export, and you have the boundaries set up here at the start and the finish of your song. To export an MP3, you simply go to the file menu and we select export audio and video. This will give us the export audio slash video menu. And you'll see here now we do have an extra option which wasn't here in previous versions to select MP3. They will not allow you to change the settings of an MP3 it will just basically export a constant bit rate, 320 kilobit per second MP3, which is the highest quality of MP3 available. If you want a lower quality MP3, I don't really know why you would, but if you want to make the file size smaller, I will show you at the end of this video how we can convert that to a different type of MP3. But for the moment, if you simply want to export your mix as an MP3, we're going to hit this export button right here. Now, before we do that, there are a couple of options that you might want to be aware of. If we, we can switch on and off the PCM and the MP3. So the PCM um, gives us a high quality uncompressed WAV file. And I have the sample rate for this song set to 48 kilohertz. So I might want to export that at 24 bit since I have 48 kilohertz there to get a nice high quality WAV file. And the dither options, if you don't have any mastering plugins on your master track, you might want to keep that as triangular so you don't really have to touch that. But we can actually select MP3 as well as a high quality WAV file. And there is another option under here. There's a couple of options. We have an AIFF file and a FLAC, which is the free lossless audio codec. This is a compression type. This is a lossless compression type. So you can compress the size of your audio file without losing any quality. When you compress a file to an MP3, this is called a lossy format, and it will actually use a special encoding algorithm which will remove a large, large chunks of the audio and then render it to something that sounds very similar to the original file, and our ears have a, a hard time hearing the difference, but you do lose information with an MP3 file. That's why they're so much smaller than an uncompressed file. So I'm going to select, if I only select the MP3, it will first render the file as a full quality uncompressed. And then at the end of that rendering, it's going to then encode the MP3. So when I hit export, it's gonna ask me where I want to save that. And I'm going to select the desktop. So you'll see here, it's rendering the audio at 48,000 Hertz, which is 48 kilohertz. So it's first creating a full quality uncompressed version for me. And then when that when this uh, export completes and it hits the end of the bar, it will then begin the encoding process. So I'll just pause the video for a moment and I'll come back when we start the MP3 encoding process. Okay, it's almost finished rendering that full quality audio and we'll now see a separate dialog box here. So now it's saying encoding master. So this is converting the uh, high quality uncompressed to an MP3. And this will go a little bit more quickly because the encoding process is not so intensive on your CPU. And you can see right there over on the corner on my desktop, it's got a temporary file there. And when this is finished rendering, I should have my full quality MP3 file. So let's have a look here. There it is right there, my Billie Eilish style beat. So what we can do, um, this is a, Let's have a look how big this file is. So this song is about three minutes long. So if I get the info, it's going to tell me uh, some, whoops, it's gonna tell me some things about this MP3 file. Let's have a look here. So it's telling me, yes, this is an MP3 file. It is 9.5 megabytes, which is you know quite big for an MP3 file because it's high quality, 48 kilohertz stereo, 320 kilobits per second. We can't see that information here, but I know that I encoded it at that. So if we want to make this file a little bit smaller, um, I use a fairly cheap little program that I uh, purchased from the Mac App Store. 
And there's plenty of these types of converters around. I use Pro Audio Converter. I'm not entirely sure if this is available for the PC. I will leave a link uh, to the Pro Audio Converter in the description of this video. I'll see if I can find one for uh, the PC users as well, and I'll drop a link as well. So when I um, open this dialog in the Pro Audio Converter, I can actually show the info here and it will give me some slightly more detailed info than the Finder on the Mac. It will show me there that it is 320 kilobits per second. And uh, it'll also show me the tag format so we can uh, edit some details about this before we export it. But I can add a new MP3 format here. When I click Add Format, I'm gonna select MP3 from this list. So we have a, a lot more options in this Pro Audio Converter. We have a lot of audio. Uh, we have FLAC, we have AIF, AAC. There's a whole lot, the Og Vorbis. I don't have time to go through all of these, but I'm gonna select MP3 and I can choose a lower quality. Now, I would never go less than 128 kilobits per second. And I tend to use my minimum quality as 192 kilobits per second. I only ever use 192, 256 or 320. And this is only when I'm exporting a mix for a client and I just need to quickly email it to them. So I'm going to encode this, um, but we can also, before I um, export this, I can use this edit the metadata tool, which is really great. So I can uh, pop, this is the ID tag on the MP3 and I can pop all the extra information in here. I can even uh, put some artwork on there. I can drop a, um, a JPEG or a PNG file. And this is really good when you're um, submitting songs to record labels or publishers, or you're sending it in a professional format. Um, it is best practice to fill out all of these fields. So if they receive an MP3 from you, I even uh, usually put my mobile phone number in here if I'm sending it to uh, potential um, record companies and things like that. So if all they have is a file, they can open up this in, uh, they can get the info. And then all of this metadata that I put in here will be available to them. They can see that. So when I hit encode, let's see uh, how much smaller this file is going to be. So um, because I, I'm 320, it's basically, it's basic maths. This is almost half uh, the kilobits per second. So it's going to be just a little over uh, half the size. Um, this is in theory. So let's have a look at how big this file actually ends up being. So there it's created a secondary file. And if I click get info, let's have a look here. So this one is 5.2 megabytes in comparison to 8.6. So it is just over uh, half the size and you can uh, experiment yourself and listen to um, MP3s in different bit rates and you can see if you can tell the difference. It's easiest to tell the difference between the bit rates if you've got uh, highly trained ears and if you're using high quality speakers, monitoring speakers, you can really hear the difference. I can definitely hear the difference between a 192 and a 320 kilobit per second MP3. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this short little tutorial and you've got a little bit of extra information there about some of the file types. And if you found this content interesting, please subscribe to the channel and drop a comment if you have any requests for videos and I will endeavor to make them for you in the future. Thank you and I'll see you next time.